Welcome back everybody. This is Eric from Moss Pawn and Gun. And uh, today we're going to be uh, doing another little range test for you. We're going to be running a Mossberg 500 for you today. And we're running the new uh, ATI Halo side saddle set. Um, it's got the side saddles. Of course, they're all modular. They drop right on. Uh, it's got a rail system. I've got a little Burris fast fire set up. Um, very interesting rig. Very functional without looking like a piece of all ninja garbage. And you know me, I like really functional uh, toys on my guns. So um, we're going to shoot it a little bit for you today, make sure it holds a zero and hits the point of aim and everything like that. Um, we're going to be using some Berniki one ounce knockout slugs. I like slugs, in case you guys uh, can't tell. So uh, let's run her. All right, I'm going to move these other two slugs to the other side of the gun. That way we make sure they don't walk their way out when we shoot them. I think they, uh, they hold in place very nice. There's actually some little rubber inserts in there that help out with that quite a bit. Let's, uh, let's shoot a few things with them. Runs pretty good. We see that our uh, two companion shells here, they didn't move at all, so it looks like the recoil uh, forces uh, don't really affect the retention. That's one thing that's always pissed me off a lot about a lot of the uh, shell mounts, is that they just don't have the right amount of retention. They don't hold the shells in place. Uh, but these uh, seem like they're doing just fine. And then uh, I like that they actually made a spot for your serial number to interface. Um, that's something that it's just very smart engineering. Uh, plus the way that you know you can get the mount on and off and uh, also disassemble the gun for cleaning without having to uh, take the mount on and off is a really handy feature. Uh, they just really did their homework with this mount. Uh, so we're gonna shoot it a little more and uh, see how she does. We're gonna run some one ounce slugs, then we're gonna follow up with some number four buck. If you guys watch my videos, you know that me and Chad are big fans of number four buckshot. Well, all the shells stayed in place. Haven't had anything walk loose yet. Seems to be holding up nicely. All right, well, I'm gonna take a few shots with the ATI side saddle here on the Mossberg 500. Just uh, see how it holds up. Using some uh, number four buck, see how it fares. Not too shabby. Yeah, that number four makes a uh, real mess of those bottles. All right, well, let's take out that fruit on top of that railroad tire right there. That's one tough watermelon. See how a uh, one ounce slug fares against it. It's more like it.
Well, in our part of the world, you keep what you kill. Not bad. It's a little litty. Life will go on. All right, we're gonna pay homage to the beer gods today. Some number four buckshot. Mmm, that smells good. This one's taking a pee-pee. Putrid. Ah. 